Hi, and welcome to week 10 of Movie Reviews. This past week, I saw two new films, the first being 1984's Red Dawn. Here's the plot. It is the dawn of World War III. In the West Mountains of America, a group of teenagers band together to defend their town and their country from invading Soviet forces. Rated PG-13 with a runtime of one hour and 54 minutes. Starring Patrick Swayze, Leah Thompson, Leah Thompson and Charlie Sheen. I like the movie idea a lot. I think it's even a great one to even have today. Uh, I think it's a cool concept of seeing the first ever invasion of the U.S. through the eyes of the everyday civilian. <clears throat> uh, I think even now as tensions grow, it would be a great movie to have especially you just see the Russian war right now with Ukraine and while watching this you can't help but just think of relating those two together even though it's not America uh I think the time that this movie came out was a very good choice uh especially because they're in the middle of the cold war uh and you just you don't know What's going to happen? There's a lot of tension between uh, Soviets and uh, the U.S. I thought that this movie had a lot more potential than it showed. Uh, I wish the relationships in it were stronger, especially between the two of the main characters, Jed, played by Patrick Swayze, and Matt, played by Charlie Sheen. They're brothers, and I, you just don't really feel their brotherly relationship uh, as at least as much as I would want to see it uh, it was a lot of action which is cool and stuff but I'd like some relationships to be built so that you have more uh, more feelings towards these characters and you'll be more upset if they don't make it or not uh, I thought this was just an average movie that held a lot more potential than it showed. Uh, I only need to see it once. I probably won't see it again. Uh, and as of now, 1984's Red Dawn is on Pluto TV and Tubi. The second movie I watched this past week was 2014's Son of Batman. Batman learns he has a violent, unruly preteen son, secretly raised by the terrorist group, The League of Assassins. Rated PG-13 with a runtime of one hour and 14 minutes. Now, I'm a big fan of Batman for those who don't know. Uh, I really love DC. Uh, DC, I think it's better than Marvel, especially when it comes to their animated series and uh, just like the animated shows and movies, DC destroys. And that being said, I usually hold DC on a higher pedestal and I expect more from them. This movie I felt was a little underwhelming uh, based off the other things they made. I thought they should have had more of a detective side because it is DC Comics, detective comics. So why are we not being detectives? Uh, so that was kind of just like a little let down. I felt like the father-son relationship between Bruce Wayne and Damian Wayne could have been betterly or just... They could have shown that better. Like, all of a sudden, so Damian Wayne doesn't really like uh, Bruce Wayne and stuff because they never really met each other and he's a teenager and stuff. And so they just don't see eye to eye and all that. But then all of a sudden at the end, they're like, I respect my dad. I love my dad. And you're like, where'd that come from? That's cool. I can get there. I'm all, I'm all down for that. But you got to show how the characters evolve. And there was, uh, I didn't really see that in the movie. Uh, I think out of animated movies, I thought it was decent. Uh, out of like the DC ones. But yeah, there, there's definitely better DC cartoon movies and live action as well. Uh, as of now, you can find Bat uh, Son of Batman on HBO Max. And that's about it. I couldn't really find it anywhere else.